Swarming attack drones may sound like something completely impossible, but in today's world of technology, it is a real thing, and Israel's enemies have them. On today's show, we'll break down what kind of threat does that hold here in Israel. All this and much more right here at The Israel Guys. Welcome back to the Israel Guys, where we believe that in a world of Jew hatred and anti-Israel propaganda, you should have a direct connection to the land and people of Israel. Guys, as always, lock in. We need you to subscribe and get this conversation going. We need global support for Israel now more than ever. Let's get the real stories of Israel onto the main stage. Today, we're talking about uh, this global threat uh, attack drones. And I know people, maybe this sounds kind of crazy and maybe a little bit uh, wild, but there's been a new uh, a group called ALMA, an Israeli group dedicated to educating the public uh, on Israel's security uh, challenges. And they just put out a finding that they found an Iranian base, a uh, UAV base, and they've just published this for the public. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about how uh, U.S. officials are also noting the threat of UAVs and the potential damages. We already know there's been damages uh, in the past, and we'll speak about those and what this uh, concern. Uh, but the group uh, spoke about specifically, uh, and I'm sure the Israel Israel's intelligence already is aware of these, these bases, uh, but today we have a public awareness platform uh, raising the awareness for you and I, the public knowledge of what are these things capable of, and what is our our um, what's what what is Israel? What is what are they? Um, what's the real threat going on? So we'll speak of first um, uh, General Kenneth F. McKenzie, he's a former head of the U.S. Central Command, just recently, that February 26, uh, twenty twenty three, uh, put out a warning. Uh, of course, he's former, but he he uh, was just was just recently in office, so he's very very well uh, informed uh, individual. He and I will quote the regime. Speaking of uh, Iran, the regime's large and growing drone force, which can be used for reconnaissance and strike missions, now poses an existential threat to the Gulf states and a direct threat to Israel, as does its formidable missile force. Um, when your enemy says he's going to wipe you off the face of the earth, this is one of Israel's uh, main uh, understandings. When their enemies say something, believe them. So, um, General uh, uh, Kenneth, thank you for just noting the real threat that's on the table. Um, he also, I'll quote again, and the big picture, um, advances in drone technology have produced an uh, inflection point in uh, aerial warfare, warfare capa- uh, comparable to the uh, introduction of manned flight more than a century ago that has ended the guarantee of U.S. air superiority over its forces and bases. Wow, that's a big wake-up call. So this, the, the real threat is, is that a relatively low cost uh, to these countries creating armed um, uh, UAVs is a huge um, threat to uh, on-the-ground forces. So t- these terrorist entities that Iran uh, is one of the is the head of. So its proxies. It's also sending these these uh, UAVs to its proxy groups. Uh, is causing it massive, uh, massive hold. Now, we'll break it down a little bit. The U.S. still stands as the number one in drone technology. So yes, the, the uh, U.S. is still at the forefront of that, uh, but that doesn't mean that they can't be harmed by others that are growing in their, this technology. It's followed by China, Russia, and then England. So we, we do have a lot, to, but I wanted you to note, even though this has been going on since the 1980s, uh, just in, by 2003, uh, only three of these countries, three countries obtained armed drones. So these, this is a uh, relatively new advancements. And in 2018, uh, the figure moved to 11 countries. And now today, I'm sure it's much higher than that as drone warfare uh, just, just, just really advances. Uh, Israel's neighbors now uh, have drone fleets. So we're talking about Iran and Saudi Arabia and Egypt and Iraq and Jordan and the UAE. All these neighbors of Israel and the Iranian proxy groups, uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon, uh, the Houths in in, uh, Yemen, and now also 
not in this neighborhood, but we all know that Iran is sending these uh, UAVs to Russia as well. Um, I think it's very significant that the all the neighbors of, are surrounding Israel, and some of the neighbors I mentioned are friendly to Israel, some are not. Uh, but this is the new level of warfare that's being uh, put out in 2021. Uh, the United States uh, Navy began working on a low-cost, unmanned, swarming te technology. So I'm just bringing this up to say, this is something that's uh, recent, new, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's changing the warfare tactics on the ground. They call it the Locust. Uh, so 2021, U.S. Navy, again, this is, stands for low-cost, unmanned, swarming technology. Hey guys, we'll be right back. But first, our friends at Blessed by Israel ship the beautiful products of small businesses and families from Israel's heartland to people all around the world. You can now buy the wonderful taste, smells, and goodness of the promised land. Check out the amazing extra virgin olive oil, savory spices, cosmetics, hand cream, soaps, lotions, chocolate, coffee, and much, much more. The best part about this is, is at the same time as you're enjoying the goodness of the land of Israel, you are also blessing the faithful pioneers who are restoring and rebuilding Judea and Samaria. That's right, your purchases are an effective way to contribute to the strengthening of Israel. So head over to Blessed by Israel, that's blessedbuyisrael.com to buy the wonderful products of Israel's heartland and support the pioneers of Judea and Samaria. Again, that's blessed by Israel, blessedbuyisrael.com. The link is in the description below. Um, so the swarm drones uh, attacks are increasing. Uh, in 2019, we saw that with the Houths and uh, rebels uh, attack in Saudi Arabia on the oil fields. That was a massive attack. That was done with drones. That was 18 drones. So that's a swarm attack with three low flying missiles. Uh, and that was in the neighborhood here. Uh, the Ar Armenian conflict uh, also sees uh, a lot of drones. Um, and it's a... Um, a, a whole swarm of drones. So that's a whole new level. All right, let's bring it in. Iran. Iran poses a, a massive threat, and Iran has also been working on its uh, drone, and its, and its uh, uh, they, they started out fairly uh, insufficient, and now it's grown to a massive threat, as was recognized uh, by the former head of the, uh, U.S. Central Command. Iran's drone capabilities are a threat, massive threat in the Gulf and a direct threat to Israel. So the unveiling to the public of an Iranian uh, UAV underground base is a fairly big deal. And we would assume that something would be done about that uh, soon. Um, so this is where Israel and the US, to bring it to uh, what's happening right now, the US has actually proposed a, to cooperate, a military cooperation with Israel against Iran. Now, at first glance, this sounds amazing. We would all think, yes, America, Israel, let's get Iran and their proxies back in order. Let's not have uh, oil tankers uh, being blown up, and let's not let's not have all these uh, wild, uh, you know attacks against Western civilization that's happening now. Um, but at a little deeper level, what's going on? Under the current U.S. administration, this could be a very bad news for Israel. So far, we know about this administration and also the uh, Obama administration, very similarly, uh, said, no, we will not have uh, Iran to, we will not stand and let Iran have a nuclear weapon. But that's what they said. But at the same time, um, with the JCPOA and these different things, they were they, they, an action actually paved a path for Iran to receive this uh, nuclear weapon. Go nuclear. Their path is still laid for Iran to go nuclear. Even though they're saying we will not allow it, on the other side, they're, they are allowing it by creating a clear path for them to receive this weapon. So, what is understood right now under the under the the guise of uh, cooperation would actually be potentially harmful for Israel because Israel's the only one on the world stage right now that gives Iran an actual uh, way. You can't do that. Israel's the one that holds them back. No, you will not receive a nuclear weapon, and you will not have uh, un, uh, uh, a massive drone swarm drone forces. Because Israel, that's a threat. If it's a threat to Israel, Israel will not allow it, right? So, but will America allow it? And that's the question that we have right now with America pushing for cooperation. Would this actually be a move to tie Israel's hands 
so that, because we are nearing a uh, nuclear weapon in Iran, is America intervening to try to tie Israel's hands not to intervene with a uh, Iran going nuclear? That would be the big concern, and uh, Lord willing, that's not the scenario, but we will say that Israel is between a rock and a hard place in this issue. Israel very much appreciates American uh, uh, military support, but the very uh, but the situation is is very likely that the U.S. would come in and uh, hold Israel back from being able to hold Iran accountable to no nuclear weapon. Uh, so in order to restrain Israel um, from striking Iran, this would be American goal here, what we could very easily foresee happening. So all of this is um, very concerning. Uh, just imagining in your head right now, UAVs uh, armed with, with weapons, um, being a new tactical front that has actually already begun until today and studying and realizing that this has actually happened. It's really kind of a, actually striking. When we see war, we see soldiers on the ground, we see them running. Of course, that's probably still, still what happened. But this does provide a whole new war front that we should be aware of when we're praying for Israel, when we're supporting Israel, that Israel has neighbors that have um, military, uh, unmanned, armed uh, forces that are able to attack Israel. Um, and we presume in the hundreds uh, and, and, and thousands, if we would include rockets, uh, and Iran poses a massive uh, threat in this regard. We know that they've sold hundreds of, of these weapons to Russia, and we would assume that they have hundreds and hundreds uh, in their own uh, uh, bases uh, sitting there waiting for deployment. So again, uh, the, the security would be is that Israel stands at a very high level, much more sophisticated than Iran, and Israel uh, is military is, is at a cutting edge, way above that of Iran. But again, we will note that this is a threat that should be, um, should be seen as a massive threat. The Iranian UAVs and all the other Arab nations around Israel with UAVs. And what does that look like when you have 100 uh, attacking one object? We had 18 attacking a ship. What if there's many, many more going in one direction? Um, this is where Israel's cutting edge technologies with laser um, uh, uh, knockout systems where Israel can literally laser out these, these kind of threats. Israel's at the cutting edge right now of creating a laser system that actually takes out rockets, similar to that of the Iron Dome. This would be something that would be amazing in this kind of threat. Uh, in conclusion, uh, the rapid increase of technology has certainly escalated Iran's threat the threat of Iran in Israel's backyard. We all, we all uh, see this. Uh, this seems to just be the beginning. As technology increases and these advancements uh, increase, thank God Israel is, is standing a step ahead of them, but they must stand a step ahead of these uh, international bodies that are uh, coming to a forefront in really wild and crazy ways like UAVs. Uh, so Israel uh, has to understand the threat. The threat is uh, arms drones, long range and large number. That's a real threat to today, right now in Israel. Here's the good news. Israel, you've got this. I have no concern about that. Israel, you've got this. I personally have great confidence in the fact that Israel, come hell or high water, Israel will prevail against every enemy that rises against her. I have no doubt about that. This is, uh, the Jewish people have returned to this land. They're going to be here. No matter what happens, Israel will prevail against its enemies. We're confident in that. We stand with Israel in very much confidence in this. Uh, and we say, uh, Israel, Israel will definitely prevail against our enemies. We are just aware now that the threat is great and Israel and the victory will be even of greater proportion when we understand that. Guys, as always, subscribe, get the conversation going below, and as always, tune out the fake news and tune into what is actually happening here in the heartland of Israel.